Super Ultra Dead Rising 4 Mini Golf Invitational. I'm Insane Ian. I'm JP Tuesday. I shouted and the levels went up. Uh, I was trying to do a golf announcer voice. I was. I think that was kind of obvious. The fact that we essentially played eight holes and not, neither one of us has made a Caddyshack reference, I'm surprised. Yeah, that's uh, for the both of us. That's kind of surprising. I, I don't know if we've been unintentionally avoiding it or not. Uh, but yeah, so this is the score standing so far. Uh, you know what? It was pretty evenly matched, that, that course. So we are going to the next course and seeing what we're, what's going on from there. Uh, we just did the Golden Apple Vineyards. Uh, we did, we did eight holes over three episodes. We are in episode four of this mini golf tournament. But, uh, in the previous episode I was talking about how much I enjoy zombie movies. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I love the Romero movies, obviously. I did a, a Here's Us Drinking Game come moment, kids. I did a song about it. Uh, I, Shaun of the Dead is one of my favorite movies, mm -hmm. and it's a great homage to those Romero movies, as well as being just a great movie on its own standing. And uh, but, but I love the Romero movies, all of them. Although, I like the... Uh, what's his name? Uh, I can't think of the guy who did the remake of Night of the Living Dead. He was well, an effects guy, too. To I cannot think of his name. I have the Blu-ray in the other room. But I liked the 1990 <laughs> remake of nice, Night of the Living Dead better you know, than the original. Like, any of us have devices that it can summon Blue all information at any Oh, my goodness. Are you talking about your pocket computer, homie? <laughs> yes. I think you should use your pocket computer while I golf. But yeah, um... Oh, nice. I killed one zombie. <laughs> I probably should have gone the other direction because it would have been closer. Uh, enough with... Tom Savini. Tom Savini, that's it. He's an effects guy. And he did the remake of uh, Night of the Living Dead. He's in Dawn of the Dead. And, of course, the Romero zombie movies are important in the Dead Rising universe because Dead Rising 1 takes place in a mall. And they actually had to put a label on the game that said, this is in no way referencing De Dawn of the Dead. Yes, it's in a mall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the mall okay, things. So where's the hole? You, no, you've got holes over there. Put it into one of those. Okay. Yeah, you switch to your putter. Uh, and it, it'll, it'll magically transport you to the next part of the course. That's, that's a lot of power. Yeah, too much Just power. avoid all the holes is what you did. Yeah. But you got more Zenny and, and more zombies killed, so, you know, it's an even trade. <laughs> I'm I'm on the other opposite side of, of fun here, so I'm hoping that I that will get me over the the wicket here. Yeah, yeah, roll it toward the hole. Go to your home. Go to your home. Uh not a Caddyshack reference, but, but Happy Gilmore reference. Well, you, you, we couldn't do the Caddyshack reference because we brought it up, so I figured I'd go with the other one. Uh, although, admittedly, I, I have not seen that movie very much, so I uh, don't know. Neither have I. Well, yeah, that's quite a movie we neither of us have seen. Uh, that, did that just go up to the top of the peak and, and stay there or roll back? I would call a mulligan on that. <laughs> I think you can aim it a little better. Give it a little more power. Yeah, that's good. Ah. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, because well, because it also hit the lip of the thing, yeah. so it's hard for it to skate in there. Oh, go ahead. But really, uh, the zombie presence is really the only similarity to... You know, I'm going to be goofy and go for this one. Uh, You've written only several similar. songs about zombies. Have I written several? Something about a zombie. Yeah, that's the big one. Resident Evil kind of counts. Yeah. Oh my gosh, did I? Oh! It bounced out. I could have gotten that as a hole in two. Yeah, go in the middle one. Go to the middle one. Give it a little, give it a little nudge. And uh, you'll do. Oh, uh, so enough, close. Enough. You gotta, you gotta oh. be patient on the putt, but you got it in there. Oh, nice! Well done! But double bogey. But double bogey. Man. 
looks moral. But uh, but you finished before I did, so that's uh, that's a good bravissimo for you there. That's some good stuff right there. I got bogey. So we we both didn't do great on that one. No. But uh, yeah, that's that's fun. This fun. Pirate's Refuge is this this next four holes. Uh. Or next three, I should say, because we just did one. But uh, yeah, no, the, they 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 were like up. There was this whole thing where like the movie studio was like threatening to sue uh, Capcom because like oh, clearly you're ripping off Dawn of the Dead, and know. like no, it's just because it's in a mall. It's really the only similarity. The the zombie outbreak isn't even the same. Uh, so and it's not the same kind of social commentary that the uh, Dawn of the Dead movies are either. I'm gonna go over here onto the ramp thing because this seems like a smart move to do and I'm not known for that. Oh! See? I'm not known for that. Oh, wow! I don't even get a chance to do it again. Maybe if I can go... I'll try this way. Okay, up to you. That seems safer, honestly. I really do like the comically large club. Wow, that was super close to the center. That, hit that ramp, hit that, that ramp, hit that, that ramp, hit that ramp. That, that kicked my butt. Bravo. Thank you, thank you. That was really good. Hand me that controller. Maybe I can make a fool of myself for a second time. Because, you know, not that I'm professional at it. Power. Giggity. Yeah, I sliced it, but I aimed it for this way. Ah, oh, got me a ball buster. Killing some zombies, get on to the yes. Oh. I got it, I nailed it, I did the stuff and the things with the stuff. Explosions? No explosions. But I got me a ball buster, personal obstacle. Oh, I did get that last zombie. It? Personal obstacle, I think we figured out what that one means. Who's getting it? Oh, uh, yep. Sorry, bro. It is what it is. It's the way the game plays. Like, do the ones with the backpacks have extra things in them? Wow, you are so close to it. Yeah, man, if you just you give that as much boost as possible. Oh! Shipped it, but you still made it. Uh, oh, right there, right on the green. Right on the green. Bravo. Hell of a, hell of a shot. Oh, you've got a personal obstacle. No, no, you want to go up the ramp. Wait a minute. Did you take my shot? Hmm. I thought that was... Oh, well. We'll figure it out. I think you took my shot, so thanks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you did, because I'm two yards... That was... That's bravo. Yeah, you took my shot. <laughs> oh, well. You managed also to do that with missing your personal obstacle, so... Good on you there. This is you. Taking it to get onto the thing again. Yeah. Just do the same thing, only get it into the hole this time. Super close. Oh! oh! That is... That's a heartbreaker. That is a heartbreaker. Okay. Do it just like that, only uh, not. Not as strong. Oh, no, that's chipping. But you got on. You got on. That is good. Man, thank you for the boost. <laughs> I, will, I will finish my shot now. Wow, no, this is you again. All right. This is a putt. You're good. You are four yards away. You're you're good. Oh. Give it the nudge that it needs. Go in. Oh. oh! Right on the lip. I don't know how we managed to miss that that was my shot. Love the sound effects. Boing. You are zero yards. <laughs> From it. Ah. Uh, that's amazing. I just whiff it, you know, like. Yeah, just bit, bit, bit. I don't think you even need to bother. 
Yeah, yeah, like you you tapped it on the swing backwards. <laughs> oh, another crushing disappointment. Another crushing disappointment. Yep. Well, what else is new? <laughs> but I think overall this is this is going well. This is we're doing good. I think maybe we have a couple episodes left in this. I think so. So what kind of... Do you like horror movies at all? I do. I generally just like watching them in theaters because of the crowds. Like Every yeah. time I've seen a, a horror movie in a theater, it's always the same same type of people. You know, they're screaming during... I mean, they are generally being annoying during the movie. Most, you know, put, going towards, you know, calling up the tropes. Uh, the... The, uh, the um, you know, don't go in there people. I haven't actually had that kind of experience. Okay, I've had that several times before. Uh, that's, that sucks. The, I don't like going to see horror movies in theaters because I always worry that somebody in a tense moment is going to grab me by the shoulders and freak me out. Uh, I saw the first Resident Evil, which is not a scary movie. Uh, but I, I saw that in theaters. Wow. Do the ones with the backpacks actually give you something? I don't know. No, it doesn't look like they do. So, uh, the most recent horror movie I saw was the uh, Hall Halloween, John Carpenter's Halloween, the, the... The new sequel. The new sequel that ignores the other sequels. And, while well, I enjoyed the movie. Oh my gosh, I keep chipping to the right. Keep well, slicing I, to the right. Why well, I, I do enjoy the movie, again, it was a very... It's that kind of crowd, and before that... I think it was either the remake of Friday the 13th, this is going back a bit, or the remake of My Bloody Valentine. Oh, the 3D My Bloody Valentine. Yes, that would be the, yes, the more, and uh, I was with my girlfriend at the time, and she liked horror movies, so we go see it, and both times it was the same situation. It's like the experience for me was kind of ruined. We are right in the same spot. Yeah. The experience for me was kind of ruined, so I generally ignore, try not to go to see horror movies in the theaters. Of that experience. That makes sense. I I probably would feel the same way. I, I it's not I have not seen oh Ballbuster. Reduced shot power. Who's gonna get this one? But yeah, no, I, I don't usually see horror movies in theaters, and when if I do end yep. up seeing a, a horror movie in the theater, it doesn't it's not usually something very scary. So I'm sorry about the reduced shot power. Yeah. Here. All right, let's see if we can make this happen. But you, you killed more zombies by landing on them. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, I, I got into horror movies from old. I, you did, yeah. I was going to say, you, you hit that kind of low, but that's, you had the reduced shot power. Um, <laughs> but I got into horror movies through uh, a girlfriend in high school. And they're not No, 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 no! They're not my favorite thing, but I do enjoy some horror movies. I kind of enjoy horror games a little better. Yeah. Because although that's sometimes scarier, because it's technically happening to you. Oh, oh, oh! Good. Look at that. Way to rebound on that shot. Bogeyman strike. Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, bogeyman, whatever. You still did decent. I'm I'm on the double bogey here, so you're fine. Really? Really? Am I- I'm stroking out on this one? I'm- I'm just terrible. That's what it says under- under the thing with the stuff. I'm just- the audience is sad for me. Ah. <laughs> uh, Walk it off. Alright. We will continue this next time on Insane Tuesdays. Yeah, this is going well. This is going good. You're, I think you're actually kicking my butt this time. <laughs> I think so. I think so. We'll find out. All right. Yeah. <laughs>